Hey folks, thank you for checking out my video. Today I have a special demonstration for you on an electric bike. I am going to install and review the Aovo Bogus Mini V2 electric bike that was sent over to me by the Aovo Technology Company. This bike offers a 350 watts uh, motor hub and runs on a 7.8 amp hours uh, battery pack and it offers the capability of maximum speed of 15 miles per hour. If you are in the market for an electric bike, stay tuned. This might be a good option for you. I'm going to show you how to set it up, walk you through some of its key features, and take it for a ride to show you some of its functionalities, capabilities, and performance. With that, let's go into my garage and set it up. This is what it looks like inside the box. So now it's on the cardboard. I don't have to worry about scratching it. But here's a closer look. Again, it's the Mini V2, so it's really small. Can't wait to see what it looks like. The back wheel here came already installed. Cut the zip ties, the seats here. This is the handlebar. Tear the styrofoam off. Get the handlebar here. And there's a uh, display here. Set of keys. Take the keys out of the way. Put it somewhere so you don't forget it. I'm just gonna put this in my pocket. I'm going to lift it up. Here's the uh, front fender and also a back fender here. So you have to take the fender off from the back wheel here. Next, I'm going to put the handlebar up. All you need to do is just lift it up like so and lock it up. And there's a cable here that comes through. Inside this part here is also the connector as well. So I'm going to go ahead and connect the two together, align the two arrows together. So it'll go in. You're gonna have to kind of shove the remaining wires inside the tube, like so. Plenty of space in there. And do that. So once you put the handlebar onto the uh, tube here, there are two holes in here. Yeah, you can do it either side, the front side or the back side. So I'm going to place these screws on the front side. So I'm not going to screw them all in yet at this point, but just enough to hold it in, in its place. The next steps would be taking this fender out of the way. For the front fender, there's a screw in here already, so you need to take the screw out of the way. And then you simply plug in the, the front fender, this little slot here. It goes to the front. You simply align it and screw it in and then also just tighten up behind here. And there's also two screws, one on each side here. And then put the screw back on. Do the same thing at the other end. I'm gonna lock this up. Boom, it's locked. So after the, the front fender is on, I'm going to remove a little wooden thing here. Just remove that out of the way. And I'm going to install the front wheel. Let's just cut this out of the way here. Zip tie. You want to align the disc with the back disc, right? So the, the brake disc here will be on this side, facing, facing me. So you have this release bar here. You want to unscrew it. Leave on this side. Lift up the, uh, the bike. You insert this rod here, like so, on this side. And then screw this part here on the other side. And I'm gonna use this to unlock it in. All right, it's coming together as you can see. Pretty nicely. When you install the pedal, you want to make sure that the, the right pedal will go onto the right side of the crank. There's a letter R marking here for the right and L for the left. And you simply screw it in like so. Not the pedal itself, 
but this metal component here where it's rotating. You can use your fingers first to uh, screw it in as tight as possible. And then you'll need the 16 millimeter wrench here to kind of tighten the rest of, of the pedal in together. There we go. There you go. The next part is putting the seat here. Just plug it in there like so at whatever level you desire, right? Because you can always readjust it. Right, look at that. It's beautiful. The next steps would be to connect the back fender. So here's the screw that I'm taking out. Simply align this piece here. There we go. You use the Allen wrench to screw it in really tightly. Do the same thing on the other side. All right, folks, so we're basically done. This is really simple. The installation is really simple. It's really intuitive. And I'm going to add the last two screws here. The final screw in front. So there are four screws for this part, two in the back and two in the front. There we go. So this is the battery pack. It comes with two keys. I'm going to open up the pack and see what kind of battery capacity we have here. You can open it up like that and let's take a look at the capacity here so it is a 7.8 hour battery pack it runs on 36 volts and it has a maximum discharge current of 16 amps and charging current of 3 amps as you can see the battery is a removable pack and let's just put this back on in place and just simply push it in snap it like that and it comes with a charger there's a charging port here that you can charge the battery either portable or you can just charge it while the battery is on the bike here all right folks so we completed the installation as you saw earlier it is super easy to install i have installed a number of electric bikes before and this is by far the easiest installation i ever did as you saw earlier i just need to install one cable that uh, runs inside this tube here connecting the battery to the display and the throttle here you don't see a lot of wire sticking out uh, it's pretty sleek the way they uh, designed this the bike itself is a beautiful looking bike as you can see in the front there's a mini v2 and also at the back here there's an s16 the size of the tires and the wheels are 16 inch so they're not like your 26 inch regular bike again this is a mini the seat here is adjustable you can adjust it to whatever size you desire. Also, you know, if you need to place this in the trunk of the car, you can definitely take this off or just lower it down like that to fit the, the trunk. And another thing that I notice here, the seat here is a lot of cushion, right? It's really soft and it's wide. And so I can imagine like if you're riding on a, a dirt road or some rough patches, this really comes in handy. The bike does not come with a suspension or anything like that. We'll see how, how it's going to, uh, to work out. But again, the big cushion seat here is gonna help with that. So it comes with a beautiful display. I'll show that in a minute. A throttle, a hand grip, and a brake, a disc brake here, especially with electric bikes, given that it can go up to 15 miles per hour. Disc brakes really come uh, in handy. Uh, just to make sure that it's safe and in the back here you see this beautiful 350 watts or 36 volts electric motor and all of the electrical components including the windings are all encapsulated inside here and is well integrated yeah. into the whole wheel system and the disc and also it comes with the uh, kickstand as you can see here uh, beautiful kickstand here pretty strong so you can park it anywhere on the road um, it comes with the also with the backlight when you brake the light will come on along the handlebar tube here there's a little button here to release the latch pushes up like so and then pull it out like that to release the latch and this is the foldable piece of the electric bike just let it down like that like so, where you can, can fold it. It doesn't fold midway and you fold it up into two pieces. But I think the foldable piece here is just this part here. And also uh, you can release the seat and adjust it to a level where you place it down or take it out altogether to fit the trunk of your car. And uh, to put it back on, you simply push the latch 
and it automatically locks itself. In front of the bike, you see bogus here, written on that. And follow along the line here, again, you see the Mini 2 with the orange kind of a design there. And then you have, you don't have multiple gears here, it's just one big gear here that you, you're gonna have to work with. And again, this is pedal assist, a combination of human power and electrical power when you start to use pedal assist. And then it goes back to the electric motor in the back here, beautifully integrated along the bike. Again, the bike came already pumped, so you don't have to inflate it. With that, I want to go over the display monitor here. To turn the bike on, you turn the on button here. That'll hold on really quickly. And as you can see, the data on the display show up like so. At the bottom, you have the level of the battery capacity and then the odometer. As you can see, this I don't have anything on it right now because we just put it together. And then it comes with a kilometer or miles per hour. And to switch the kilometer to miles, because I'm in the United States, you simply press the on button three times really quickly. Let's try it. One, two, three. Boom. And the number here indicates the speed level. So level one will take you up to five miles per hour. Click on the on button, it will take you to the next level, level two. But that will get you to around 10 miles per hour. And then finally, level three will give you the maximum speed at 15 miles per hour. To turn on the, uh, the front light, there is a front light there. You simply click this button twice really quickly. One, two. As you can see, there's lights coming on here. Turn it off twice, boom, it'll come off. So here you have a nice handlebar grip here, and then you have the brake to the front wheel and the back wheel. Again, it's a disc brake, so it's gonna be really helpful with the electric uh, speed here. And then you have a little bell here, right? To warn people that you're coming along. I forgot to talk about the throttle. The throttle here, when you press the throttle, it'll give you the speed that you need. I'm gonna lift up the back wheel, simply push this part here, and then the throttle will, it'll tell you the speed. With that, let's take this baby outside and see what it can really do on the real road. All right, folks, I'm pretty excited. I'm going to test this baby out, see what it can really do on the road. I have the, the monitor on right now. So the first test I'm going to do is test the uh, pedal assist. So I have it set on level one. Here we go. Whoa, not bad. Okay, I see the electrical part kicks in now. And uh, it takes you up to six miles per hour here pretty smooth and uh, I'm going to do level two at this point whoa I can feel the uh, the power kicks in level two will give level two will give you up to nine miles per hour I hope you can see that now I'm going to uh, put it on level three whoa you can feel the electrical power right away Woo! Level three gives you 15 miles per hour max. All right. So now I'm going to do level one throttle only. Here we go. Woo. Again, it gives you up to six, six miles per hour. Level two. So you can switch the level while you're riding up to nine. It's all right. And then level three. Level three will give will again take you to 15 miles per hour. All right, and you and you can do a combo of uh, throttle and pedal assist. So now I'm doing pedal assist. I like the pedal assist better because you can uh, feel a little more connection to your body. You know when you are uh, like using your muscle to uh, to pedal. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you on a windy road to show you how it can maneuver and so forth. Brake is excellent right now, and you know since this is like a, a mini bike, uh, you can easily maneuver through like curves, windy roads. Let me see how it's gonna work. Here we go. 
Oh, this is nice. So, I'm mainly doing pedal assist right now, and it's really smooth. You know, going along my bike trail in the backyard in my in my neighborhood here. Really easy to maneuver at 50 miles per hour. I feel like the pedal assist will give you uh, more power. So let me see, just throttle. Ooh, throttle, throttle is pretty good too. folks as you can see uh, this this bike is really fun and, and exciting it gets you up to 15 miles per hour that's the max you can have both throttle and pedal assist again pedal assist is a combination of human power and electricity uh, I kind of like the uh, pedal assist better than full throttle because uh, I feel like you uh, can be more engaged when you get your body involved again this is portable and light and you can maneuver uh, quite a bit through curves and uh, it's a really smooth ride so overall this is a really great bike I mean I could see taking this bike in the neighborhood as well as in the city uh, I go camping a lot so I plan to take this bike you know put it in the trunk and uh, uh, take it on the road with me and it's just small enough to do so with that I want to thank AOO technology for sending this bike over to me the company is giving my uh, audience a discount if you guys are interested I will put the link in the video description and uh, check it out for pricing and for more specs on on the bike itself with that thank you for watching the video I hope it was helpful and I hope to see you again soon